I shot a short film on my iPhone 11 Pro to show you what the Sandmark 1.33x anamorphic lens can do. Stick around until after the short film to get some must-have information before purchasing your own Sandmark lens. Let's get to it. Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos of Phones. Today, we're here to do a Sandmark 1.33x anamorphic lens review. I've long been intrigued by Sandmark lenses because they're a price point below moment in B-script without sacrificing on performance. Well, that's not entirely true, but more on that later. Today, I'll talk about what comes with Sandmark lenses, why it may be worth upgrading from the standard case that comes with your purchase to the pro case that's an additional $30, and how to de-squeeze the anamorphic footage that you'll capture on your 1.33x anamorphic lens. Looks like we got a lot of information to get through. But first, if you're new here, consider subscribing. We talk about mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, literally anything that you could wanna know if you like taking photos and videos on your phone. Your purchase of a Sandmark lens is going to come with the lens, a standard case of your choice depending on what iPhone you have, a front and rear lens cap, a cloth for cleaning, a clip-on mounting option, which I use sometimes on my Google Pixel 4a with 5G. Hey there, Android user. Comment if you want a video about Sandmark lenses on my Google Pixel 4a with 5G. And a nicely sized lens pouch. Here's why the anamorphic stands out. Once your footage is de-squeezed, you'll have Hollywood-style black bars just like this. And you'll have lens flares similar to these. Interested in the rest of Sandmark's lenses? Then check out the full Sandmark lens review linked up there in the top right hand corner. All past videos and products discussed in this video will be linked in the video's description. I made a whole video about phone cases because I was so disappointed with the five standard cases that I was sent with my purchase of the Pro Edition lens kit. To hammer home why I was disappointed, I've devised this little test. For both cases, I'm going to insert my iPhone 11 Pro into the case. Then I'm going to attach the Sandmark 1.33x anamorphic lens to both the wide and tele lenses on my iPhone 11 Pro. And then just for experimental integrity, I'm going to repeat the process three times and average the times together. The Beast Cage from Beast Grip comes with a mounting plate for Sandmark lenses. I love the Beast Cage. If you want to learn why, check out that video up there in the top right hand corner. But I really wanted to get some smooth cinematic gimbal footage for this video, so I can't use the Beast Cage and my Zion Smooth 4 gimbal, so here we are. But seriously, if you're into iPhone filmmaking, check out that video about the Beast Cage. 
What's de-squeezing? I'll use a plate because it's round to show you exactly why you have to de-squeeze the footage that you capture on your mobile anamorphic lens. The footage from any mobile anamorphic lens captured on the native camera app of any phone is going to look like this and you want it to look like this. There are a number of de-squeezing options available for iPhone users, whereas Android users are going to have a little bit tougher time. If you know of any other options for de-squeezing anamorphic footage that I have not included in this video, please comment them below and I will add them to the pinned comment. My favorite option for de-squeezing anamorphic footage is going to be the Beast Cam from Beast It comes with full manual control for photo and video and costs around $15. My second favorite option for de-squeezing anamorphic footage is going to be the Moment Pro camera app. I do recommend purchasing like the Pro Bundle or whatever it's called, which gives you full control for time lapses and long exposures as well. My least favorite option for de-squeezing anamorphic footage on both iPhone and Android is going to be Filmic Pro. The base purchase of the Filmic Pro app is going to be around $15. My experience with Filmic Pro has been very poor. I've had issues with dropped frames, bad audio, literally everything that you can imagine going wrong when you're taking videos on your phone, I've had go wrong in Filmic Pro. You can also de-squeeze your anamorphic footage on computer editing software like Final Cut, Adobe Premiere, or DaVinci Resolve. If you're not sold on the Sandmark 1.33x anamorphic lens, but you are still interested in purchasing an anamorphic lens, check out the video about the Moment Gold Flare anamorphic lens up there, because we also compare it to Moment's Blue Flare anamorphic lens, and Moment, like Sandmark, makes some pretty impressive anamorphic lenses. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It definitely helps photos and phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Because of the algorithm. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the Sandmark 1.33x anamorphic lens. I'd also be interested in some constructive criticism on my short film as well. I'd love to improve. As always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell because we're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, and unboxings, anything that you could want to know if you like taking photos and videos on your phone. Toodles. See you in the next one. Bye.